If you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is July 24th, 2020, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the indices, mostly the American indices, sold off yesterday while the gold hits new yearly highs, okay? So the rotation of the markets is actually happening. But first, let's take a look at the various sectors. So we are in the midst of the summer and there's no major economic events scheduled for today. But as we move into next week, next Wednesday is a major number coming out of the United States. It's the FOMC rate decision. So you do want to know what's coming out. Now, we don't really need so much economic events to push the markets because they're already very volatile. So starting with the currencies, we saw the euro exasperate the move up to 116 and then giving it up. Also, the Aussie dollar continues to push higher as well. Now, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq, both retrace at resistance -ish level. We're going to take a look at both of them. Now, looking at the commodities, gold breaks higher, as we spoke about before, and oil remains steady. Now, lastly, looking at the stocks, it really is the FANG stocks, okay? Just like you had the run-up a couple of weeks ago, leading into this past week, Okay, you also had the sell-off, all right, which is kind of interesting because the rotation is actually happening in the market. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So I'm going to first start out with a monthly chart, okay, of the Euro USD, and you could see the volatility here. I just want to highlight how volatile it's been. We went from 107 up to 116 over the past three months, okay? So that's almost a thousand pip move, okay? And we haven't done that since 2017 all right so that's kind of the volatility that we're breaking out right now we are hitting a bit of a minor resistance ish level right here this is a multi-year resistance ish level at this 116 ish level so you do want to pay attention to it if we don't break out higher now looking at a shorter time frame let's look at a four hour chart we hit that 116 ish level with gust okay so i do expect this to still retrace but the question is is how much okay so ultimately you know our retracement should be a portion of this 112 to 116 so somewhere around the 114 ish level 114 37 ish level we should retrace to okay so you want to keep this on your radar looking at the gbp at the same interval okay we're looking at a daily chart here we didn't break out higher than 127 which I'm inclined to think that we're going to sell off here, okay? Because we are at resistance ish level. We didn't break out on more multi time frame resistance ish level. So keep this on your radar if it does look to sell off. Now, looking at the Aussie dollar, same story, broke out to the 7163. This was really the spearheading versus the dollar, whereas everything else kind of did not break down. Now, I do want to highlight the fact that the RAND didn't break down either and now is hugging this trend line okay if it does break this 1668 ish level on the upside we could see it go back to the 17 ish level which would mean that the rand is getting weaker versus the dollar again so you do want to keep this on the radar just to you know for potential entry levels if it does break that trend line now jumping into commodities looking at gold all right now this is at 1887 let's go to a weekly chart just to give us excuse me a monthly chart to give us perspective here let's zoom out a little bit so it's a little bit clearer oh no, sorry didn't do that properly what i want to highlight the fact is that we're only about 30 dollars away from our all-time historic highs okay so this has really propelled itself from last october to now from 1240 up to 1887 now we do expect this to hit 2000 all right so at some point it should retrace it may hit a little bit of turbulence once it gets closer to this 1915 ish area so you want to keep it on your radar now jumping into the dow jones let's look at a four hour chart sold off after exasperating the move to 27,000. Now, this is almost like as if we're challenging this again. Now, we're shy of our high of 27,461, but we did see a lot of turbulence and a lot of resistance at this 27,000. So we're retracing down. We're at 26,400 ish level. We are hitting and we did breach that first support. The next support is 26,178. So let's keep it on the radar. Now, again, we have FOMC coming up next week, so they might want to sell it off before they take it up again. OK, if the FOMC does give a really great uh, rate decision, uh, kind to inspire the markets to 
you know, move higher. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, we have the same story. Okay, it's trading down to 10,477. And this is understood, right? Because Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft hit all time highs in the past two weeks. And this is taking into consideration people are taking money off the table. This is really a very responsible thing to do. So this sell off is actually quite natural and it's it's understood, okay, that it's happening. Now looking at this 10478, we are at supporters level. Next real support level was that breakout at 10,000. So you want to keep an eye on this later today. Now looking at Apple nosedive, okay, down 30 points from its all-time high of $400 a share. Okay, as it retraces further down, Amazon also 2978 down about 300 to 400 points from its all time highs. And looking at Microsoft also on that bottom range at $200 a share. Now, this is really important to keep an eye on, on Microsoft because that $200 is a very important number. It's a psychological number, and that's really something you want to keep an eye on. Now, Intel came out with Earning reports after the close yesterday it did sell off a little bit. It's at sixty and a half dollars. Now sixty dollars is a very important spot for it. Obviously, if it does break below that fifty-seven dollars, that will you know kind of uh, agitate the move and may create a further sell-off. So you want to keep an eye on this as some of these stocks are hitting that retracement and some you know resistance to push out higher. Now, lastly, looking at Alcoa. It did sell off, right, from that 1354 down to 1263, which is completely viable as it didn't break out higher. So stocks are taking a little bit of rotation, may see a little bit of further selling today as people are taking money off the table. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day and a beautiful weekend.